please continue like that. I am begging you. Noted. Noted. It's fine. It's been I'm just saying, whatever energy you're giving to me right now in the house, please keep it that way when we leave. I because I I do not forget. Yes. To me, I will give you. Just keep it that way. If you're negative, keep it negative. If you're crazy. Hi guys. Lucy must definitely fight the whole house as in every week Lucy must definitely be involved in one fight or the other I really don't understand what kind of a person she is I don't know why it is like that I feel maybe most of the housemates actually misunderstand her personality Hi Welcome back again Hi to my channel my name is Vicky and if you've seen my face for the very first time hello there please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video and please leave me a comment and like this video okay oh, so guys today I'm actually gonna be telling you guys the highlights of yesterday like everything that actually happened yesterday you get so actually the housemate did their arena game without Biggie Biggie went to write to Ayek and he is not back yet you know so Kid Wire was in charge, he was the one and uh, controlling them and directing them on how to do you guess. So actually they were playing this the arena game was in some sort of format where they, they placed balls on a number of balls on certain as in that's how they actually played it you get and then for some reason you, you go into a bucket of filled with uh, these tiny little balls and then you pick it out and you place the number on each of the spots you get when one person finishes they go they put it back into the they pick the balls and put it back into the bucket and mix it up again so that it won't be easy for the next person but madam lucy was not having it she is actually saying that the housemate actually did not do that for others but with her especially she was talking with Brito and then after the arena game there was fire on the mountain she was virtually tackling every damn person in the house especially Brito <laughs> And then she just went about saying how people do not like her. As in, she's always having this opinion that people do not like her. Like um, she's all on her own. It's only Katrina that had her back. And she forgot that maybe if Katrina was in the house up to this point, one or two reasons they would have had some altercation. You get. But Lucy is always feeling that people are always out to get her. She's always feeling that the housemates do not like her. And we that are viewing it from here, I don't feel that way. You get. Maybe they are. They just don't like the energy she exhibits. You get. Because at this point, yeah, I'm just even tired at the very end, you get. So she has already said that she's not getting involved with anything the housemates are actually going to do. Because this evening, the housemates actually played some games. And then the whole drama about this video is coming from that game, which Lucy actually wasn't involved. She was inside, inside the house throughout and the housemates were outside and then while they were playing this game outside they did truth or dare they did different kind of games where you, you pick paper from a container and then ask whatever you read out of the paper you get and then for some reason i don't understand what was wrong with tolani badge and prince they've just been avoiding themselves like if 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 anything prince reads that has to do with him doing it with a lady he avoids speaking to lani badge i'm not even seeing the chemistry between these two people tolani badge for some reason maybe because of the vibe that prince is giving her she too she's also not speaking prince you get but at the end of the day after the whole um game thing they had a conversation and she was telling him that she actually doesn't understand his vibe we could be sitting out here now right let's go inside as i'm wearing my slippers now ready and these are things that you probably didn't want to notice but if we're calling whatever i'm about to go inside I'm going to go to the find my slippers. By the time I look up, I'm probably inside already on your bed. I'm not lying. And the talk just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and that's how it has been going on for the longest time. I just hope to learn it bad. Like I said in my other video, that she just wising up and just move on because the guy is really not into you, sister. You get period. Then guys, also Kick Dwyer actually picked a paper that actually told him to 
to pick any girl in the house and suck the girl's nipple yeah you heard right for some reason the whole of the videos of this particular tutor there kayo day has refused to actually show us the actual clip or make us see properly what they were doing but i guess the reactions of these housemates will actually make you see that these people are are set to actually act porn for us <laughs> Yes, Kid Wire was actually sucking Eric has nipple in the presence of the whole housemates. I don't understand. At this point, if I'm beginning to be shy for her because the whole thing is just looking as if the infantration is just too much. They lost to me. You guys that are Erica's fan, don't come for me because I am not anybody's fan. But I just feel like the both of them are really, really lost in after each other. It just feel like some sort of disrespect you get. It's just I like they, they they are not respectful, especially Kid Wire doesn't respect her. I don't know if it's me, but that's just by the way. And then moving on, Watoni actually picked from the paper and said that the, the paper now read that she should also she should pick a guy that she is attracted to in the house and tell the guy how she feels and all of us we are just here thinking that she's actually going to pick Brito. first of all Brito was not even there Brito went inside the house to get something or to to fix something to eat and then Watoni said she wants to do it when Bright is here and we were just here thinking that oh Watoni is actually going to pick Bright to confess to Bright because of the chemistry that has been happening between the two of them guess what guys that did not happen. Watoni actually waited after Neil had gone to call Bright. Watoni actually waited when Brighto came out. She picked um, praise. Maybe just this um, um, Bright or just to make him feel jealous. I don't know what it is. She just confessed her love to praise that ah, when she walked into the house and she saw praise, she actually liked him, his earrings, his looks and blah, 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 which we actually do not know if that is true. For me, I feel that she's trying to make um, praise jealous because at the end of the day, they actually spent the night together on the bed. So I just feel she was she was trying to do it to actually make Brighto jealous. The way he dances. So yeah, what? And I probably might just have feelings for him. He cute. The praise in the other hand would now call Kid Wire. I don't know if it's because he was tipsy and was talking about his feelings for um, Watoni that he had, he liked Watoni from the onset. Um, what he's trying to say to me, I just feel that he's tipsy and he doesn't even know what he's saying because as, at this very point, I don't know where the whole I like Watoni just because of Watoni just called you after uh, during a game to actually tell you um, something and you're now telling um, Kid Wire that you liked her, you you she has a son, you has a son, so the equation is balanced and then Kid why you know being a smooth talker was just teaching him how to be flirtatious with her so that to actually make her also interested in it you know kid why is so good in this thing and that is where he specializes so in a peaceful way rather than coming in now and saying so i'm afraid what i said was wrong i've got a family i shouldn't do that and then you cut it off completely which will fuck yeah. you up now if you want to keep us smiling i need a smooth praise not the dick face that talks too much, the smooth one. I'm very smooth. Telling her nice things, giving her compliments, making her smile, be sexy, be flirtatious, be naughty, give her all that. You're a good dancer. And then also had the opportunity to fondle, caress, press Nengi's bum bum in that same game. Like these housemates are going mad. These housemates are going crazy. Like their their idea of this whole game that they are doing is either to shake tables or to activate what was hidden inside. Also finally had the opportunity to press Nengi's bum bum. Like because that's what the paper he actually picked actually said that he should pick a housemate and press the bum bum of the housemate. And guess what? He definitely picked Nengi like who were you expecting him to speak by the way? Who were you expecting? Of course it's Nengi. Go, 60 seconds. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. 
So that's just basically what the housemaid they have been. They were up to the whole of yesterday. I don't understand the the the, the praise and Watoni side and um, Brito and then um, Watoni and then Erica and Kid Wire to me they are becoming a porn star in the house. You get because they can do it wherever and whenever they feel like it. You get they can't even get a hold of themselves when they are together. You understand? And then the outburst of Lucy. What do you think about the whole of these things that have been happening in the house? And then this vacation that Biggie went to is high time Biggie came back because the house is already turning into something else. There are a lot of microphone infringements. Some of them are not wearing their mics anymore because they are not hearing Biggie's voice. But I hope at the end of the day we are going to hear or experience the return of Biggie soonest. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel up to this point, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel and do not forget most important to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. And until I come your way next time, stay safe and stay out of trouble. I'll see you in my next